Oi, oi, lads. It's your favorite currency here, crypto. I heard a lot of people are investing into it, so that makes me cool, I guess. Anyway, fellas, today we're going to be ranking all four Vault Hunters in order until we find out who, in the current state of Borderlands 3, is the strongest all-round Vault Hunter. But before we get into the video, comment down your thoughts on who you believe is the best overall Vault Hunter in BL3. Hell, if you feel like it, make sure to comment who you believe was the best Vault Hunter in every Borderlands game. I'm curious to hear everyone's thoughts. As always, this is a ranking video so remember that this is based on my opinion so please follow the rules of this christian borderland server and respect mine and others opinions oh i just changed your mind you're no longer gonna spam dislike the video congratulations you have now earned the title of cool man all right enough talking let's get into number four coming in at number four we have the person who isn't in the thumbnail and you guessed it Amara. Sure, with ties that bind, she can become the best at mobbing in the game, but with this ranking, I took diversity into consideration. Ties that bind really isn't the greatest for bosses, but phase flare, or ball, for you intellectuals out there, it's pretty insane for both, however, action skill diversity really isn't too great on Amara. The only really viable ones are the Eternal Fist, Ties That Bind, and Ball. And you can't even do the Fake Grasp anymore to proc anointments. Currently, Face Slam is trash, and Face Cast is good, however, the cooldown rate is way too long. Also, it's worth pointing out that she only has three viable class mods, those being the Face Zerker, Driver, and Muse. That's just for small minority though, and that's really all I have to say. On to number three we go. Number 3, and who better to take this spot than the guy who was insane on Mayhem 3, and yep, it's Flack. <sighs> this man got his identity stolen by a criminal. That's right, the crit based character is no longer the strongest crit character in the game, and I'm not even going to start talking about it, don't get me started. However, even though Flat got absolutely robbed, he is still undoubtedly still a great Vault Hunter with a lot of diversity. Whether it's Gamma, Fade Away, or Rack Attack, Flack is viable in every action skill department, and that's what makes him so likeable. Additionally, it's worth pointing out that all of his class mods provide a unique playstyle, as every single one of them is viable, except Rack Commander as. Why would you use this? Come on now. Whether it's a gun build, pet build, or hell, even a Nova build, Flack has you covered, boo. Now, my only complaint about him is the purple tree and pet AI. Whilst, yes, a pet build is highly viable, the pet act more drunk than the Zaffords, and I can't believe that a year after launch, the AI still hasn't been tweaked a single bit. I'm sure all you Flack players have played with the Jabber before and got nanayed by his own fucking barrel. To add on to this complaint, purple tree just makes you lose out on too much damage, and gravity snare is just horrible. How I suggest making gravity snare better is by adding a cryonova reminiscent of a snowshoe every time it drops the enemies down. But all issues aside, Flack in my opinion is the most balanced character in the game as of right now. Mose and Zane are the only ones remaining in this battle royale and the number 2 spot goes to... Oh, can we get a drum roll please? Mose. Yup, the ex Vladolf soldier herself. Now Moe's, there's nothing wrong with her. Both Iron Bear and Iron Cub are stupidly strong. All her class mods except the Zapper are highly powerful and most weapons in the game work on her. I mean, his gameplay of me literally one shot and mobs using the big suck. Oh yeah, um, also a shout out to Epic for putting me into BL3 Redux. Very cool. Aside from the action skills, when it comes to the new purple trees, Moses really didn't provide much. Yeah, I guess we got more Iron Bear damage, but it really didn't give us a new playstyle like Saints or Amara's. But what it did do, however, is give us Skag Den 2.0. Thank you, Randy. Let's go. And also, let's mention that the whole tree is based around keeping Iron Bear or Iron Cub active. Meanwhile, Big Surplus, the most powerful skill in the tree, a tier 1 skill, contradicts the whole tree, as with this, you want to keep your action skill down instead of up. But truth be told, the new skill tree and fire in the Skag Den getting too much mayhem scaling are my only complaints about her. When it comes to Moe's, build possibilities are endless. Infinite ammo builds? Check. Explosive builds? Check. Action skill builds? Check. Grenade builds? Check. And for the best current Vault Hunter in Borderlands 3, the only one remaining, and you guessed it, Zane. <laughs> He's just so ridiculous, man. This man. <laughs> what even is he? What the fuck? Feel like doing a clone build? Go ahead, boo. Sentinel, maybe? Haha, <laughs> too bad Fucko Sentinel Cryo is still broken. Barrier? Oh, you wanna play safe and literally be a human tank? Mantis Cannon? Mantis Cannon. Zane's purple tree was a huge hit as yes, it did cook flak, but it fixed so much issues with Zane. You no longer need to rely on seeing dead, 
the Infiltrator is a god tier com, the Spy is just amazing, and yes, I did only name 3 class mods, however Gearbox have been changing quite a ton of things with Zane recently, so I'm sure that 3 will be expanded on. What did Purple Tree also bring us? Commitment. What is commitment, I hear you ask? The skill card of commitment states, and I quote, Kill skill. Zane gains increased gun damage and action skill cooldown rate. So, why is this skill such a major Zane highlight? Well, number one, in the blue tree, C and Red got replaced with Death Follows Close, and since Mantis is an action skill end, you can spam it. This activates commitment, constantly giving you a shit ton of damage. Number two, when specced into commitment with five points, you get 20% gun damage and cooldown rate. This skill caps out at... It, it doesn't. That's why it's so ridiculous. Not only that, but Zane's ability to have two action skills at once can allow you to have both ASCs and ASAs at once. This man is literally a monster. Also, he gets bonus points just for his dialogue. But anyway, my little pog champs, that's it for the ranking and it concludes our video. Let me know once again who you believe is the strongest Vault Hunter in Borderlands 3 in the comment section down below. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hitting that like and subscribe button really helps out a ton. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Stay classy. Peace. You've got a love or